I think we're live. Yeah, we are. All right. I love them. I'm really dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. We got this. Is there another lighting option? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. That's better. All righty. You are slightly less dark now. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, Shallon Sofa. This is what, our third one? Yeah. Or fourth, I don't know. We're bad with numbers. We're terrible. But uh, all right, today we watched Master of the Flying Guillotine, or Master of the Guillotine, if you're Dan. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, this is another of the uh, dance classic kung fu <laughs> movies, which uh... <laughs> no, it's a, uh, it's good. It's a, uh, it's a solid flick, and again, it's one of those where it. it I could definitely see when it came out, how you know like it would be very. It's very innovative. It's you know, it's got a good style, and uh, or a little more history about this movie. Um, apparently, it's the second in the series of how many? Uh, I don't know. There's, there's at least four of the one arm boxer movies. Okay, so yeah, uh, this one pits the master of the flying guillotine versus the one arm boxer. Um, the, uh, the beginning of the movie, you see this old guy kind of doing his pie made deal in the in the, uh, in the mountains, and uh, he gets he gets a carrier pigeon <laughs> with some crazy Chinese braille on it, and it says, uh, "Hey, master, um, we're your two disciples, and if you're getting this, we're dead. So please come avenge us." So that's yeah. how the movie starts. He's got a picture of a one-armed man on it. Yeah, and he was able to discern. Like there's this whole like yeah. four four paragraph deal that he's anyway Chinese braille so it was cool. Yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure how that works. <laughs> but, well, can you read Chinese? No. Then how do you expect to understand Chinese braille? The man's blind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah. So uh, then you know this guy goes. Um, there's a tournament being held in town, and all the the you know major fighters are going. So of course the one armed Boxer takes his students to, to watch, and um, then the master of the flying guillotine comes and starts marking people left and right. Yeah, he he kills he he kills this poor beggar dude that just had one arm. Yeah, he was joking. He's like, I'm the one arm boxer. <laughs> and zoop, and the and the flying guillotine is kind of like a a hat box with knives in it with with a chain coming out. Yeah, and and you just lop it on people's heads and just pull, and it comes right off. He's really cool. He's really good at uh, getting it right on your head too. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, comes over and then just clean and easy. There's no blood spray. Like I, I it was made in the season. It was made in what seventy six? You said seventy six. So yeah. I was kind of hoping for like the ridiculous blood spray, <laughs> but uh, we never got that. But I mean, it's not a Tarantino film, so what that's a Japanese say? thing. Most oh, of is it? Like, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Yeah, um, that. That was in the old Shambara, you know, samurai flicks, you know, where your arm comes off and it's just... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I think it would have been very fitting here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, especially with your entire head just coming off. And you never see what he does with the heads either. Like, I guess. No, no, like, because when he was practicing in the very beginning, you yeah. see him, like, catch it and just dump the head. Yeah, yeah, but you never see him actually dump the head. <laughs> Like late later, well, I mean, he does this in the statue. Yeah, so then that's just to make you assume that he's always going to dump the head. Like, got your head, dumped it because like, he doesn't care. He just wants the guy dead. It's something he just confirmed that it's the dude. You know, yeah. you can't see fair, him. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, you, know, I mean you, you, you would think that he would just have heads. He was going to keep know, the heads flopping next to him or something. <laughs> well, no, but you know, you 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 like you cut away from him and you cut back and he's got this pile of heads. <laughs> Well, because he doesn't ever actually get that many people with it at the same time. <laughs> I mean, like, because he'll yeah, get, like, okay. one guy, and then right. he moves. So well, it gets a lot of head. bystanders, like, like with the knives on the Yeah, outside. yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty dangerous. I, yeah. I don't suggest trying to master the flying guillotine. Yeah, it's it like seems... a really spiky yo-yo with a secret middle. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, it kind of like it's got this curtain deal that comes down. Yeah. Gets your head, but anyway. Um, so, so he kills the uh, kills the bum. Some some other one armed guy that was there's, in yeah, the tournament. Another good one armed fighter. <laughs> so apparently, I don't know why people are just getting. So a lot of guys with one arms in China. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, gets another guy who's the wrong guy. Yeah. Then finally, 
comes around or you know someone tells on the the actual one on box you're like oh he's supposed to be over here and uh yeah. the dude comes and uh much hilarity ensues <laughs> oh yeah there's doll seam in this one yeah yeah <laughs> well this i mean the the reason why i like this so much is, is this is one one of the earlier like tournament fighter movies is like we're gonna have a tournament and you've got like you know your regular like wushu you know chinese deals you know you got you got like the the evil claw chick oh. and, uh, and the the other one our guy like, was like the she's viper. a pervert because like she's just uh, like ripping well, dudes clothes off like yeah well you know but but he's a silly monkey man well no but she ripped the other guy's clothes off. i'm like had they fought longer she probably would have ripped more of his clothes off well i mean she's she's just showing you that she can rip off your skin then but, you look like the guys from Hellraiser. Just but like maybe she should like rip off somebody's skin versus, and like, cause you like cut. Wait, wait, you you got to get through the clothes. I don't know. I think she's a pervert. Center, right? I think she's a pervert, dude. Oh, okay. Men are not sex, you know, toys or whatever. For you to just undress and, and you know, <laughs> in the middle of a tournament, not pieces of meat. Okay. <laughs> we deserve your respect. But uh, no, so that was good. Um, she was cool. Um, yeah, but but I mean you. You get all the, the the regular, you know, the Chinese stuff, like Eagle Claw. The one guy had like the Viper fist. Yeah, that's the other one armed guy. Yeah, and and those guys, but then they bring in the foreign guy. <laughs> so there, there's a Thai fighter. Yep. There's a Japanese dude that fights with uh, Tonfas with uh, like blades that come out. You got the Indian dude that has like the dolls em arms that just grow and grow. Yeah, this is the first. Thing. Actually, you know what though? To be honest. Yeah, that effect was pretty much the same effect they used in the Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, for, yeah. for, for Reed Richards, <laughs> except he's not strangling people. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean this guy was definitely cooler than Reed Richards. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying it was pretty much the same effect. So this this uh, this director was pioneering things used freaking fifty years later. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean it's it's cool to see them all like fight, and the the tournaments given like. A pretty good chunk of the time of the movie. Yeah, I mean, you just see this guy pitted against that guy, and, and you know, and, and, and that that's cool. I I, I really like that. Yeah, <laughs> so it was, it was a cool little uh, Kumite situation, and uh, then so like, yeah, so we have like four or five fights. Um, that it kind of gets broken up. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, that that all gets gets brought to the end by the. <laughs> The, the master of the flying guillotine himself coming in, ripping some dude's head off, and then setting everything on fire. Yeah. <laughs> he does like to do that, too. Yeah. He just set things he's on fire. He's got this cool little, I, I don't know what's supposed to be in them, but he just kind of, like, throws them, and they, they, they just, like, shoot off, like, flash powder, and everything's on fire. But uh, then then all, all, all the foreign guys got uh, – Recruited to the the master of the flying gu guillotine side, so Jimmy Wang Yu, the one arm boxer, has to beat all of them and the flying guillotine guy. And I'm I'm pretty sure we could probably guess the end. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and spoil it for you. Yeah. The one arm boxer wins. Yeah, there are like. But it is more pretty cool how how he does it. I like that. You know, like there wasn't any. Stupidity, yeah, because he's yeah. like, All right, this guy is a master of the flying guillotine, and he's he is pretty no damn one badass yeah. without the flying guillotine. Yeah, he's like, not <laughs> one to be fucked with. He's like, All right, he called up all of his students together. He's like, Look, I'm shutting down the school, we're you know, get out of here because like this dude's coming, and there's no sense. He's like, you know, you guys aren't gonna do nothing, you can't beat him, so get out of here. But I thought that was really cool. It's like, you know, because it wasn't like, Okay, we're gonna. You know, yeah, make our yeah, stand here. Yeah. You know, like the dude comes and just lays waste to everything. <laughs> like, you know, quite a few other movies. I mean, in, in the wrong hands, the, the script writers would have made a giant piece of crap out of this. Like, all, all the Jimmy Wang used, you know, guys would have been dead. And, yeah, I mean, like, it's, you know, he, it's, uh, it's definitely from the 70s, but, like, it wasn't, you know, like, some of this stuff that they, they got away with in the 70s, you can't get away with now. Yeah. And also, you know, it's a, Foreign films, so <laughs> like you know, yeah, it's, like, there's a lot of. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying, but uh, it wasn't. It didn't take away from the movie. It was still really good. Um, 
it's a heavy user of the convulse once and then go limp you know, style of dying. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Which I guess is fine, but yeah, yeah. And I, I don't know why you would want to be in this tournament. Because you're a badass. Well, yeah, but every <laughs> every loser dies. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, there's the um, the kicker dude. You yeah. like to kick the other guy in the nuts? <laughs> he was like my least favorite fighter because that's not cool, man. Like, I know it's a fight and there's no real rules in a fight, but, like, this dude was aiming for this guy's nuts on multiple occasions. It's not cool. He wasn't aiming for his nuts. He kicked him in the nuts. Yeah, and just, just like, the guy was just, 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 like, shrugging it off for a while until he gets his eyes poked out. Yeah. That, then he gets kicked in the nuts and stays down. That was the key to his power. And then his nuts, like, trickle down. <laughs> his head, like, yeah. Like... Oh man, no, it was bad. But uh, <laughs> that was the worst fight. Yeah. <laughs> but that guy um, broke his leg, or he got like a bad cut. Yeah, on his leg. yeah. But I mean, he lived. At least he made it off the field in his own power. But you never get get to see him continue because the master of the flying guillotine just came in and wrecked everything. Oh yeah, so, but yeah. that's the job. Yeah, you're running this badass. thing. You're dead. Hey, yep. your shit's on fire. <laughs> Everybody go home now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, no, it was good though. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, the end uh, is is cool just because he's got like trap axes everywhere. He's like flinging yeah. at the. <laughs> That's kind of cheating though. Hey man, yeah, I mean, like, look, if you don't want to come, if you want to come to an axe fight barehanded, <laughs> that's your business. He didn't come barehanded. He came with a flying guillotine. Well, that got broke. <laughs> if you can't handle yourself without your flying guillotine in an axe fight, maybe you shouldn't show up. It's not just the axes, though. I mean, it, he, he basically booby traps this this uh, coffin shop um, with, yeah, the, the, these, like, axes on little, little levers that he pulls, the axes flies out. Yeah. Um, home Alone, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Home Alone, the flying axe killing the scary oh, I mean, like, guy edition. Home Alone would have killed those dudes. Like, if it wasn't a movie, those dudes oh, would yeah. have been oh, yeah. Yeah. over. But so he might as well be flinging axes at them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the blunt side always hits them. Yeah, yeah, I don't know totally. how that happens. <laughs> oh man, uh, I think Home Alone would have been much better if they just flung axes. Well, I think I think Home Alone would have been a lot better with Jimmy Wang Yu and the flying guillotine. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but, uh, Terrorizing some like small neighborhood. <laughs> 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 and he comes to the last house on the block. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Wang Yu. Oh! <laughs> Jimmy Wang Yu, a 12-year-old child. <laughs> but he's already 30. He's a 12-year-old white boy. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> uh, all right, so, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, how do I feel about this one? I'm probably not ever going to watch it again. I'm going to say it's like six and a half. It's It's yeah. definitely a... You know, this is you know, one of Dan's classics. This is a building blocks of kung fu movies. So, <laughs> um, you know, it's definitely worth the watch. But uh, I'm probably it didn't grab. I might want to watch another one of the one arm mm. boxer movies though. This is the best one. I, this I is the best one. Okay, yeah. so never mind. I don't want to watch any more. I mean, <laughs> I think it's the best one. And uh, Dan does have horrible tastes. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's good. It's a uh, it's a solid movie. Um, so okay, I'm gonna give it six and a half out of ten. Mm. I'm gonna give it an eight. Um, an eight, you can watch like thirty-five times. It gets a, <laughs> it gets a little extra from me because the soundtrack is obviously not the classic Chinese one in in this edition. Yeah, I was gonna say the soundtrack is a little some, ahead of its time. <laughs> it's got some, some some late '90s, early 2000s kind of hip hoppy. Well, it's, not well, late, it's it's a. Uh, I would I say it's it's, more it's uh, early nineties. Oh god, what what the hell do you call it? Uh, the like the mechanical techno kind of because uh, the 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 master of the flying guillotine when it, whenever he's on and like walking around, he yeah, has this like, like badass like like, like yeah. It's like, it's like <laughs> yeah. kind of funky a little bit. No. Even when he walks to go get his food. Oh, he's man. Like, yeah, he's that. going to take a dump. But they're playing this. <laughs> dum, 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 <laughs> splop. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, the, the soundtrack was uh, an extra 
<laughs> the extra feature out of yeah, my room. Yeah, yeah. Did George Lucas the soundtrack a little bit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you didn't, you didn't notice the Banthas in the back. <laughs> oh, man. And the random droids rolling by. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry for somehow magically working Star Wars into this. <laughs> hey, just shot out, reimagined by George Lucas. <laughs> it's just, you know, friggin' <laughs> starships and flying and landing and <laughs> randomly for no reason, ancient China. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, the Imperial Starship is actually the, the, the Imperial yes, Starship. Yes, yes, the Ming <laughs> Dynasty Starship. <laughs> The child emperor walks, walks down the ramp. You know, takes I can't to see that Star Wars yeah, movie. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we got to wrap this up. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. We keep talking about this Ming Dynasty Star Wars movie, and I, I'm more and more down. But um, yeah, no, it was good. Um, give it a watch. Master of the Flying Guillotine. Who's the director? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, some Chinaman director. Hold on. Well, I got to look now. So let's. All right, we're let's gonna see. wait while Dan looks. Um, do, 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 do. Amuse them somehow. I will amuse them with my wonderful words about. Now that next we need to watch like a Jet Li movie. That's cool. I um, got most of those. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, so. We saw that Jackie Chan movie. Yeah, we need to see a Jet Li movie. Uh, Jimmy Wang Yu, <laughs> it stars uh, here and also wrote and directed the film. Yeah, that makes oh, a lot yeah. of sense. That makes a lot of sense. That's that. That's how he wins with all the trickery at the end. See, if I was a writer director, I would make myself the badass of the movie too. Yeah. See me. Oh yeah, he had the light skills. Forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Remember the, the the whole basket part? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The jumping. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Wang Yu. Uh, one of his his students like put puts a bunch of rocks in a basket and he walks around the edge of it. And and he's, he's talking about you know jumping skills, which plays an an integral part of the plot later, right? Oh yeah. So so they dump out all, all all the rocks, and uh you know Jimmy oh. Wang you like jump jumps off and he's like running around the <laughs> the, the, the basket like with without no weight in it, it at all. Without toppling it. And then. He shows them how to run up a wall across the ceiling and down the other. And wall. like when he first runs up, though, he kind of like just hangs out there. Yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, you know. And then he's like running across, but uh, yeah, that is an integral part of the ending fight. So if if you can do this and you're like a martial arts master, just let us know. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, um, we'd definitely like to have you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to see your light skills. Sir. You know. Um, yeah, we'd like to figure out how that works. Um, I'm just going <laughs> to defy physics for a few seconds here. Like, physics don't matter. Because I'm Jimmy Wang Yu. Hey, man. Because I wrote it that way. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, all right. Yeah. Yep. Good Master film. Flying Go team. Check it out. Um, it's probably not going to be at your local DVD store, so that means you're going to have to hunt it down on the internet like normal people. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Dan's like, I have the DVD. It's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, can we hit this button anytime. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can, I can do that. We'll catch you guys later on the next challenge. So I'm fun. Dan. He's Max. Yeah. yeah.